So, I have a 2000 Isuzu Trooper and I got the same problem that a lot of people have with this thing which is this friggin thing keep blinking and then down there the friggin thing starts saying check it's a headache Okay, it's a freaking headache. So, what I did, first of all, I am not a mechanic. So, that's probably the first problem, but I'm not an idiot. So what I did, signed up on a forum, went online, and looked at a diagram. Couldn't find a diagram until I seen somebody sent me a link of this diagram here. All right. So these things, what do you call them again? VSVs connect to these hoses and they go to these things. So, number one, what I noticed with mines is that this one here coming from the bottom VSV, it goes here and it splits into two hoses. This bottom one here was connected, but this top one here was not connected. And this one goes to this tank. Now, whichever genius mechanic owned this thing before took out this piece here. I don't have it. So guess what I had to do? Search for one of these daggone things and find one, thank God, on eBay. And here it is. Now, I hope this fixed the problem when I connect this thing up because I test these two things because I seen another forum mentioning to test these things make sure they work and they both click and they both work but I still have that flashing thing going on there then I checked this thing here some other switch that works also so my options are running thin. So let me go see what's gonna happen with this mess. So the first thing I'm gonna need is a 14 socket to take off these two bolts that got this thing here. I guess this thing is a skid plate. I gotta remove these two here. Can't be that difficult. I just hope this friggin' thing will work. Have the VCVs, not VCV, VSV, and up here where this line here is. Let me see if you get a better look. So now, when you pull out this set of holes here, you know what? I'm gonna take out these two bolts to make life a little easier. Hold on. Okay, I'm assuming this is a 10. So let's get this out. 
I got two nuts here that'll come out. That's one. Now you want to be make sure that these things are old and brittle. That you don't break nothing. God, there's hell to find parts for this vehicle. Even when you go to the store, you tell them, oh, I need a VSV. They're like, what the hell is a VSV? Yeah, autos on, advance. They all don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But, just trying to take care of this vehicle because, to be honest, I was looking forward to a new Land Rover Defender, but that thing ugly yo real ugly they don't make vehicles looking like this trooper anymore too bad I got a piece of junk engine and transmission I wish somebody could just figure a way to put something decent in here alright so them two bolts nuts come off and this whole unit here gonna drop down now you wanna be careful with these hoses cause just don't want things getting confused so let me show you where my problem is. Right there. So if you look. Right. Nah, this is the one going to the blue. Right. You see where my finger is here? this connector this hose runs to the blue one at the bottom there and at the top this thing friggin focus yo this hose is in the way let me disconnect these skates alright so sorry for the shaking this is my first youtube video see there this supposed to go to that vacuum tank thing so instead of running all this holes all over in the right spot i'm just going to connect it up right here and see if that thing comes off because all these hoses here is connected properly these things i cleaned them up they're working good so hopefully this will resolve the problem let's just see what happens sorry these little problems with this vehicle but I like it also okay so here if you can see where my finger is this hole here it's gonna connect to this vacuum tank down here Connect this thing up. Hopefully that'll complete the system. We're gonna see what happens. Only one way to find out. Start this thing up. We'll see what the hell is gonna happen. God, wow, 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 holy smokes, what the frick, the thing stopped blinking my lord, whoa, hold on, this can't be for real, I gotta take this thing for a drive. Before I go for a test drive, let me show y'all something real quick. You see these little clips here? You gotta pry these things out gently with some ease. Oh shit. We're not shucks. Can't be cursing, cursing, man. It ain't cool.
right? You gotta get these pins out first. Okay, let me get this hose out of the way because I'm so glad this thing might be working. Uh oh, you gotta be careful because if you mess up these hoses where they go, you're gonna be in one hell of a problem, I guess. Something somebody said on the youth on the internet about that. So just be careful. You don't break anything. See in here. Just want to push these things up a little bit. Any day now would be nice. God, what the heck? There's a friggin' wasp. These wasps love to build nests in these troopers. I don't know why. All right, there we go. You get one clip out. Right now, what I do is remember this hose goes here. Mm. Hold on a second. I want to mix these. All right. So what I'm gonna do is take uh, some common sense. This little short wire that goes here. Let's see. You're the wire. It's not even a wire. It's a hose. See how smart I am. Anyway. So this blue one, this long blue one, holes, connects to the top gray here, and this goes here. So anyway, let me just slide these things out gently. You really want to take your time with this thing, because you don't want to mix anything up. So, I get some proper tools. Okay, so I got this little pliers here. I'm going to carefully remove these hoses and be as gentle as possible so nothing breaks. Okay. Now this hose, since it's for the bottom here, right, you keep that one at the bottom. This one is for the top. So I'm going to just push this one up top there, alright, this one is for the gray, I'm going to just keep it up there so I know that's for the top. Alright, that's two down, now this hole here connects right here. So instead of taking that whole hose out, which is going to cause more confusion, we we'll just disconnect it over here, and then take out this one here, which goes to the blue, right here. And then, take out this bottom one here, be real gentle. Could imagine the price of one of these parts in you. Might be real expensive. So this is the bottom, you just see it pointing down. And this is the top. Right. So leave that one right there. Then you wanna disconnect these two wires. Uh, I forgot the pin there. Crap. No sweat. Now uh, next pin in here.
Good. So I got this thing out. The VSVs. Short hose blue. Long hose gray. I see everybody use carb cleaner, but this is an electric part, so I just got some electric parts cleaner. I'm gonna spray it in this thing. Just to clean it up again. Alright. I'm gonna stick this in here. Just spray a couple shots. Alright. Oh it steady there. See. All right. Do the next one, same thing. Then we'll spray inside these two holes. Let this thing sit for a minute. Spray the whole thing. Get a good drenching. Good. Now since I spray these things, we're gonna see if they work. So what they said is connect these things from the battery terminal. Some test wires, red to red block to block and I'll test this thing out see if they work get this camera in the right position man good alright so let's put the block in there you know what I'm a lefty Everything look confusing. Anyway, right. And now, I'm supposed to hear a click to know if this thing working. So let's see what happened. You hear that? Listen. It's working. Let's try the next one. You hear that? Click, 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 click. Perfection Rasta. All right, so, after finish cleaning up the piece and reconnecting it, I can't emphasize how important it is. Make sure you take a picture of what you're doing so you don't mess up, right? Take a couple, look. I took like three pictures of this thing. One, two, three pictures. Just to remember where these hoses go. These old pictures. Good thing I took them because I already forgot where all the hoses go. But anyway, you see? So once all your hoses connected, you're good to go. Like I said, this gray one here, you see how it got? Let's see, get a clear shot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, this ain't work. I said, you see this connection here? That's the top gray VCV. All the diagrams are looked online. The one from the blue and the gray, like this. Mines, and I guess a couple other troopers is the same thing, where the one coming from the blue has T-shape there 
with an extra one coming out there which is supposed to go to the vacuum tank that's the thing I got on eBay so now I'm gonna connect all this thing back up after cleaning it up and see what happens see if it clear that flashing nonsense on the screen so now that everything is all said and done reconnect your hoses properly clean your VSVs put back all the vacuum lines and believe it or not remember I told you I'm not a mechanic let me show you something that I found the tank the vacuum tank from the diagram you would think it's in the front of the vehicle but however it's back here so I just spent $65 on eBay for no reason because all along it was right here and unfortunately, it was just disconnected. It's right there. And it runs right there, over there somewhere. So, I got an extra one. Let me check and see if this thing's still gonna flash. far so good let's push this guy right so far so good just gotta take it for a drive uh oh 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 about to say okay so after connecting everything up Gonna go for reverse drive and see if this thing keeps flashing. And what's gonna happen here? So far, I ain't seen no flashing. Let's leave this off for now. One thing at a time. See what happens. And what do you know? No more freaking flashing. Wow! After two and a half years of this thing flashing in my eyes and giving me a headache and looking online, took it to how many mechanics? Blah blah blah. Me, not even a mechanic. Look at that. It ain't flashing. It ain't blinking. Hold on, let me put this thing in four wheel drive and see what happened. Four wheel auto. Let me check and see what happened now. Engaged, four wheel automatic. Drive it. Wow. Would you look at that? Thing actually work. Can't believe it. 
So basically, clean the VSVs, check out all your hoses, make sure they're connected, and this thing might work properly. I'll be damned. There you have it. Solid green. No more check flashing. Let's engage the four wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Disengage. I can't believe it. Something actually worked. Okay, let's just try to do four low and four high and see what happens. Put it in park. Engage this four wheel auto. Right. Pull hold your brakes. I'm gonna go flying and break something now. Look like a real. The weird though, you're out here fixing your car and crash into something anyway. Put it in neutral. Four low. Right? Everything engaged. Let's see what happens. Oh, shucks. It's in reverse. It's in neutral. Duh. Get it for drive now. Let's see what happens. work. It's going four high. Press your brakes neutral. Okay. Good to go. Alright.